Welcome to the birthplace of college football, the campus of Rutgers University in Piscataway, New Jersey, where the game will be a little more technical, but no less intense than that showdown with Princeton in 1869. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the UCLA Bruins taking on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Bruins will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Scarlet Knights offense is on the field for the first time today. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but the, he makes the whole team better. But the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need him. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. They'll give it to him again. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. The give to the back. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pulls it in, it's Monaga. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Scarlet Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. So the UCLA Bruins offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, and they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And the Bruins in the hurry up. The RPO, it's complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Quick tempo here for the offense. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they've dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. 
The Bruins decide to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter up there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. The Scarlet Knights will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a nice grab at the 25. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. UCLA will go back to work on offense. The run to the right. Keeps the legs moving. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry-up. Off the play fake. He's going for a big play downfield. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Yeah, and I love taking deep shots. I, I think it makes cornerbacks play on us, safeties play on us. And you could tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Makes his connection. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Really nice job by the defense there. You're trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. you got to force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there. So really nice tactic by the defense. A fair catch called for and made. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. On the run, it's Monaga. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Scarlet Knights will punt it away on fourth down. He's got it. Slips through the line. 
That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The Bruins want to move quickly. Leaves it with the running back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. To the ground to try to move the chains. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. And the Bruins will line up to punt it away. Wants to return it. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Now, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Leaves it with the back. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Scarlet Knights are on the move. They're going to ride this running back. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give on the inside. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. the strong run on second down third down coming do they do it again from the gun wants to pass oh they really could have used that catch their physical pass defense it brings up a fourth down this is a point where you just got to be able to focus and the critical down and distances in this game like that third down right there when it's a good throw you got to make the catch you got to be able to make that play way too close to punt Way too far for the field goal. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's got it, they convert. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. 
That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. And the Scarlet Knights with the first and ten. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They tried to run the counter, but absolutely nothing doing. And those counter plays take... A little longer to develop sometimes. You're usually pulling one or two guys, and that penetration in the backfield can kill you, can get to the running back before he gets started. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. Trying play action. Caught near the sideline, it's Fletcher. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. UCLA will go back to work on offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Slams into the pile, he'll get one to the 17. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. The Bruins will hustle through the line. To the air. It's Garbers. He finds his man. He'll be stopped at the 27, but picks up 10 on that one. Really nice looking throw there. And traditionally, the best UCLA offenses are always the ones that can get it done through the air. You've got to be able to come up with explosive plays in the passing game. And if this team is going to win a conference championship, they need this guy to play at his A-plus level week in and week out. Defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Not difficult, not complicated, but early in the game, get in that rhythm. Find that timing to wide receiver so you're set up for success. Then you go attack deep later on. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll go to the ground. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting in the backfield, making the play. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to buy time. <laughs> The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Bruins will call on their punt team. 
He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. Guys, it is Rutgers on top here at the end of the quarter. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Now the play fake. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. He's going to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Yeah, this offense might want to think about moving the launch point for this QB, because if you take hits like that from the pocket, it's really tough to complete passes. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. And he's down right there. Picked up a few, but still some work to do to get a first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. The aerial assault continues. It's complete on the right side. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, the give, looking for room. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. The Scarlet Knights have moved it inside the 20. He's looking to throw on third and short. Got it in the middle. It's Miller. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. Really nice play call there because the defense might have been thinking on third and short in the red zone, they're probably going to run the football instead. They throw it, catch him off guard, and now they've got first and goal. And the Scarlet Knights line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. They'll run play action. Getting some heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. The closer you get to the end zone, the more aggressive I'm going to become. I'm going to take away the quick, easy stuff, and I'm going to blitz and bring pressure and put him on the quarterback and get him on the ground like you did right there.
It's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. Delivers the contact. He thought he might turn that into a score, but the defense able to wrestle him down short. They'll stop him at the three. That's why you never assume the first guy's going to make the tackle and you have to keep running to the football. Man, it's something you highlight every single week in defensive meetings. Don't assume somebody's going to make it. Don't assume somebody's going to make it. Take the correct angle. Nice job. First guy misses. Second guy gets him on the ground, forces the fourth down, throws that fist up in the air. kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away coming out with it it's Jones he gets a block this guy is so dangerous the excellent vision to find a lane and get it out and set up the offense with good field position he'll pull it on the read and I think they'll give him two on that one second and eight coming up yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker in the ground. The Bruins want to pick up the tempo. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Caught behind the line. It's Harden. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tap. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Fires to the middle. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. Hit the afterburners, kid. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins! That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. And if you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. to attempt the try. And the extra point puts them on top by one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Looking for room. It's Monaga. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can a great job in the base defense making a play. On second down, he'll fire. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. Third down coming up after the completion. To the ground to try to pick up the first. The Scarlet Knights get enough to move the chains. 
Thirteen inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop it. You better get penetration to that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. And the Scarlet Knights will snap it on first and ten. Might as well give it to him again. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Scarlet Knights send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And I love playing man coverage on the back end, getting those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone, and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. Didn't help themselves much on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 20. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And you see the dagger concept so much in pro football, in college football, and they're just they're trying to run a guy deep to take that safety with him, pull him out of the way, and then kind of throw it right underneath that vacated area where he's at. Unsuccessfully, but that's what, the, what they were trying to accomplish on that play. Quick strike complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Yet another punt on the way. Gotta make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. Well, it's third and short. They're throwing for it. They just can't come up with that one. Setting up a big decision now for the head coach on fourth down. And the Scarlet Knights line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. 
He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Grab behind the line. It's Harden. They get him down after he makes a catch. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple yards there. And the Bruins moving quickly to the line. They'll leave it with him. At the 40, there he goes. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. I bet that running back's eyes got so big when he gets that handoff going to the right and he sees the huge holes. Yes, please. The defense just didn't flow quickly enough. All of the blockers had leverage on their men. And that defensive line has to get off the ball a little bit better, get some penetration to stop that outside run. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. You can become a star making efficient plays and getting first down, sort of like a Mark Harmon kind of way to play quarterback for the Bruins. And, and then you become a big star. And in Hollywood, what a town to do. It obviously creates some excitement, creates some momentum. Go to a Rose Bowl, just do big things at UCLA. Caught in the backfield, it's Sturdivant. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and you never complain. The Bruins have pushed it inside the 20. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Pressure coming. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Looking downfield, it's Garbers coming after him, using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Here comes the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try to field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack. Throw the ball away. Now, listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So, you know what? Nice throw away, QB. On second down, looking to throw. 
fires to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. The Scarlet Knights will punt this one away. He's got great speed. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Back to pass, it's Garbers. He's right on target. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. And now on second down for this offense. The play action fake. Immediately fires to the middle. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Beautiful job by the wide receiver because he knew where the first down sticks were and he adjusted his route accordingly. And the Bruins have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. That's caught. It's Sturdivant. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. The Bruins are in the red zone. On second down, wants to throw it. And they're on him in a heartbeat, and down he goes. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Garbers. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. And the Bruins will try to punch it in on first and goal. Running back goes in motion. He wants to throw it. They're trying to get to it. Caught in the backfield, it's Harden. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. You know, you gotta be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going anywhere. You just saw it right there. Better Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA! That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big fella. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost him, race. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. 
and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The offense lining up for a first down play. On the ground, it's Monaga. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great scene there today in Piscataway. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the birthplace of college football. And the Scarlet Knights will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. A hundred percent. Just you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. The Bruins want to crank the tempo. to throw. It's Garbers. Fires to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He's looking deep. Can't make the play on the interception. And, man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. The offense gets pretty lucky there. Third down in your own end. You're throwing to try to get the first. That ball just a little bit late. And as a result, they're lucky that wasn't a pick six. And the Bruins will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Makes a move. And the returner goes down. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Finds a tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. It'll be a run on third and short. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. 
it's a good job too there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field keeping drives a lot whether it's third and long or third and inches you just have to go execute they do it man the defense you hold your breath when this receiver has the football out in space you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Quickly complete. Across the 25, he's got room. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. They're bringing heat. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. gets set for second down. He'll just keep slinging it. He's got him still on his feet. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights! Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to get the two-point conversion here and make it a three-point game. They're going to run it. And he'll be smacked to the ground. Well, every coordinator has a couple of two-point plays in his back pocket. They dialed one up there. They didn't get it. Let's see how that affects the outcome of this one. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Pulled and finds his man on the left. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going, too. The Bruins headed quickly to the line. Looking to pass. It's Garbers. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. More precision throws from this Bruin quarterback, much like a Rick Neuheisel used to play. Just pinpoint accurate. Put the ball right where you want to. You think about Troy Aikman. You think about some of those other great names in UCLA history. Off the play fake on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. He'll keep it himself. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone replay, you got to read that defensive end. If he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. And the Bruins get enough for the first down. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. 
No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. The Bruins have their offense in high gear. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 49. They go to the draw. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback? You want to fly upfield every single play? We'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Well, the offense is trying to get it down on the ground there on third down, but they just can't seem to make it work. Because of how physical the defense has been, guys, it's made this offense very one-dimensional. I mean, the only way it seems they can move the football is when they try to throw it. And the Bruins will try to pin them back with the punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, nice job by the defense. That's what you're supposed to do. As soon as they catch the football, you want to limit that yards after the catch. And he went nowhere after the catch. Nice job by the D. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Miller. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense too, right? There was a broken tackle. And the guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up fourth down. The Scarlet Knights decide to punt it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. UCLA will go back to work on offense. On the run, it's Harden. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. The Bruins are in the hurry up. To the air, it's Garbers. It's complete to the left. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. And the Bruins will send out the punt unit. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. 
find space on the right. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand that ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. He leaves it with his back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Love the competitive nature by the defender on that play. That's just a 50-50 ball, and that defender swatted it away. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires on the run. And this is hauled in at the 20-yard line. What a play to get it inside the red zone, and they are set up at the 17. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. And the Scarlet Knights are moving quickly down the field. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. He looks that one in nicely. And he goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few, but still short of the first down. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket this slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. They'll run it from the gun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man, oh man, that ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there. He didn't have any. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got it! Stop at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. So nice when you're in offense and you get in these third and shorts and you know the defense has to be aggressive, has to commit guys up front, especially in the red zone area. Nice job by this offense, slipping in the pass, getting rid of the football, setting up a first and goal. Looking to throw. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. We're just going to want to see this guy make faster decisions as this game goes on. He had all day to throw that, guys. I mean, he could have worked through seven or eight different progressions on that play and still never decided to get rid of it until it was too late and finally got hit. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. by one they're going to try to get the deuce here and make it a field goal lead wide receiver now comes in motion touch pass on the jet sweep he's going to be stopped short of the goal line the two-point attempt is no good as they are unable to extend the lead almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown the returner will field it and bring it back and the coverage team able to wrestle him down. 
The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Takes the easy completion. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. The Bruins racing to the line in the hurry up. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Trying to make magic with his feet. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. You know what, Reese? It is a great play, and I think they were a nickel. So they brought an extra guy on the field that has some speed. Take a linebacker that's a little bit slower off the field, and you can see it pay dividends on that third down. And the Bruins will punt it away on fourth down. He'll try to really get into this one. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Get a pass rush like that, and the Bruin faithful will give you an eight clap in a heartbeat. They'll get jacked up. They'll get excited. I mean, you think about a defense. you got to get those guys up front. You, you want to dominate college football. You want to be in the mix. Find those big defensive linemen that can make plays. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Wide out in motion. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. The sure hands, it's Miller. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seeing ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Soft spot in the middle. 
Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. The Bruins in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Garbers. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Good job on defense, getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Off play action. Firing to the right, complete. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them coming. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, and they get good matchups, and man. Going for it all. Touchdown, Bruins! They move on top here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. No backs with the quarterback as they line up for the two. They'll go to the air. He's got it for the two-point conversion. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's 2nd and 12. Off the play fake. Throws for the tight end. He's got it. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things. I, it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They'll keep it on the ground. Jumped on top of the pile. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to throw for it. And they can't make the play on third down. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? And here we go. Down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. On the option. He'll toss it. 
And they just didn't get anybody on that defense out of position, and they will lose yardage on that one. Desperately wanted to convert on fourth down, but couldn't do it. He's got his man. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. The back goes in motion. To the air, it's Garbers. On the run, still looking. Trying to escape and get it himself. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Now adjusting. He's going to take off. They make the stop, but he knew exactly how much he needed and where he needed to get for that first down. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. The Bruins will line it up on first and ten. Fires to the big fella. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. This offense has a second down play. Trying play action. Dances away. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Nice sack by the defense. Great job getting to him, getting him on the ground. That's the fourth sack of the day. This defense has had some bright moments, but they've also given up some big plays. Keep rushing the quarterback, but keep that coverage intact in the back end. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He'll pull it down. Finds a crease at the 20. This senior quarterback moving the chains and picking up a first down for his team. Really nice timing. Nice job by the quarterback. He drops back to pass. But how about saving your best for when it matters most late in the ballgame? Biggest run of the day in a big moment. And the Bruins are flying down the field. From the red zone, looking for a space. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Quarterback and receiver failed to hook up. They'll try it again on second down. He'll do it himself. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Touchdown, UCLA! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody. Live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. Lining up for the PAT. And 
and the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision-making. We decided to go for it. We didn't get it. And the defense, Jesse, didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt. But look, this offense has been in these situations before. So you got to come back out here, take the field. It's a fresh set of downs, brand new drive. Let's go out next, Cupid, some points on the board. Time to take a shot. It's complete. A huge pickup. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. If I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. They just dialed up one big play. Let's see if they've got another one on first and 10 from the 35. They get him stopped at the 30, but not before he gets five yards. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They want to throw it. A little too much on that one, just out of his reach. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down down by multiple possessions they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter they'll go for it on fourth down what a job to lay out and make the catch let me tell you this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field and they pick up the first down there yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand. Touchdown, Rutgers! What a grab-and-go for the score. Well, how about that? And after that touchdown, we might have a finish after all, Jesse. I love it, Reese. And this team is not quitting. Yeah, they're down on the scoreboard right now, but they are clawing and they are scratching their way back in this game. They're going to keep going hard until this clock reads all zero. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Wants to go up top. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they draw a little closer. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Let's see what he can do with the return. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Back to throw, it's Garbers. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Completion leads to second down and ten. 
He's looking to throw. And the sack all the way back at the five. Well, the offense got themselves into trouble. They're back in their own end. It's an obvious passing situation. So the defense is just pitting their ears back, and they're trying to get after him. They could not allow him to escape, step up, get rid of the football. They take a sack very close to the goal line. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Hand off from the gun. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. And the returner will be knocked down. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. And now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part. Score your defense does your part. Jesse, this offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Feeling some heat. Fires to the big fella. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel. Gets nailed, but is able to deliver a big completion for his offense. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. This time they'll go to the running game. Pulled down after a pickup of five, but they knocked that defense back, and they've got it down to the 34. All right, they've shown this formation a lot of times, especially in the first half. Now what do they do? They show the formation, pull some guys and run a counter backside. Beautiful play design. Way to adjust in the second half. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Looking to throw on third. He's got his man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot. Get the ball out of your hands quickly. Make an accurate throw and pick up the first. Well done. Going up top on first down. Looking to the big tight end. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Well, the defense has had enough of this, right? The quarterback's on a hot streak. The ball's not hitting the ground. And right there, they decide, we are jumping one of these routes. We're going to try to get a pick. Almost came away with one there. Line getting set on second down. Back to the air one more time. Got his man. They get him down after he makes the catch. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. The Scarlet Knights are threatening in the red zone. Using his legs, it's Monaga. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Complete out of the backfield. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground.
And the Scarlet Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the ground game. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The give to the back. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Into the end zone! And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And if you're the defense right now, you've given up some yards on this drive, but you've got a possession lead. You just need one more stop after that last incompletion setting up fourth down. Do you blitz? Do you try to speed up the QB? Let's find out and watch. Gotta have it here on fourth down. Fires to the end zone. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Ball changes hands, and the offense finds themselves backed up inside their own 10. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Bruins enter the final minute with the lead, trying to run out the clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Bruins will line up to punt it away. He really needs to get away a good kick here. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's taking a deep shot. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. You're in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football, and they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best, and that time they were able to force an incompletion. Second and ten, he'll throw again. This time on target. At the 35, he's open. And after the pickup gets to the sidelines to stop the clock and keep this drive going as they try to save themselves late. What a great individual effort here in this two-minute situation. He makes the catch in the middle of the field. He knows he's got to find a way to stop the clock. The only way to do that is to get out of bounds. He uses his speed and his vision, and he's able to elude the defense to save some time. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Precision execution there to work the sidelines, pick up the first down, and stop the clock. Yeah, great job by the offense. You've got to understand the situation. The clock is the enemy late in the ballgame. Got to have a score, like you said, Reese. Work the outer part of the field so I can catch the football and get out of bounds. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, Rutgers. How about that coming up big? Less than 30 seconds in the ball game. You need a score, and this offense absolutely responds. Go kick that extra point, take the seven-point lead, and let your defense finish this one off. So guys, everybody thinks the kicker has it so easy. A mountain of pressure here to break the tie. And 
he knocks through the pressure filled extra point now to see if they can hang on quick work on that scoring drive just four plays and they finish it up with a 15 yard scoring toss lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Just a short pass to the tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. Yeah, and you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. Wants to throw on first down. It's caught. The offense gets the timeout. 12 ticks left on the clock. This dude is putting up numbers. He just cracked the 150 mark in receiving yards. Man, he's a weapon, Reese. He runs routes. He's fast. He's great with the football in his hands. And he can line up in a lot of different spots and run the entire route tree. I mean, what can't this guy do? Timeout is called, and the clock is down to eight. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Dropping back. It's Garbers. Fires toward the end zone. It's incomplete, and the last chance is just out of reach, and that's going to do it.